It is now year three for the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, as open enrollment season begins today, as so do the headaches. Average premiums this year are expected to rise 7.5% for at least three dozen states. I want to bring in Dr. John Patrick right now. He is author of the book, Health Attitude, Unraveling and Solving the Complexities of Healthcare. Dr. John Patrick, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's nice to be here. We've been talking about economics this morning and the fact that we may very well be on the cusp of a recession sometime next year. Do you attribute the cost of health care, Obamacare, to the fact that we are seeing such a slow economy? Definitely is a factor. Mm. When it grows faster than any other segment, then it's going to take a bigger and bigger share. It's, it's approaching 20% of our economy. Mm -hmm. And it's much more expensive than people thought. It's a lot more expensive. Yeah. Explain yeah. it. Well, there are a lot of issues in health care. It's being so big, you would expect there would be a long list of issues. But the number one issue is the cost. We spend almost twice as much as other countries in the world per person than any other developed country. And it's not because we're getting twice as good a care. It's because we have a, like a trillion dollars of unnecessary tests and procedures. We have a huge amount of expense in health care. How do you and, fix it? Well, there, there's actually I'm optimistic about this. There are several ways to fix it. One is consumer awareness of what their alternatives are. Consumers are beginning to track their own health with mHealth devices. They're be beginning to be more proactive and ask more questions of the doctors. Do I really need that test? Do mm -hmm. I need that procedure? And if you convince me I really need it, well, where can I get it? Mm -hmm. And where do I get that MRI? And the answer isn't, well, down the hall. The answer is I'm going to go to the web and I'm going to search around and I'm going Are to Are people really doing that? And is it changing their health, though? Because yeah. you have, it, it seems like you have people who are more interested in, in their health, but it's a small slice of the overall population. And you still have two-thirds of this country that are overweight and obese. Yeah. So, and we're not seeing that trend change. Well, it's a, it's a growing capability that pe people have as the smartphones that we carry around in our pockets and purses you know these are like supercomputers they're more yeah. than a hundred times more powerful than the first supercomputer and people are beginning to realize there's a lot they can do with that on their own they can gather data studies are clear if you track your health you're going to be healthier yeah and capabilities now like you can take your phone i love it yeah, it's a sensor on the back you can hold it like this and do a 30 second ekg it's like paddles man for free where did you get those nice. sensors on the back of to put on the back yeah. of your phone uh, it's do called need... a live core yeah. it's a startup company and it measures, it does a 30-second EKG. It's not the same as a 12-lead EKG, wow. but it's the same as it's, a one-lead EKG. It's a good EKG. start. It's I a like great it. start. How about on the other can, side can, of this, which is the, um, the companies? Last week, Valiant made a ton of news because CVS and Express Group said, hey, look, you're taking pricing on us that we didn't know. How much of that pricing that you've seen? You know, S&P, for example, if you look at the healthcare sector, revenues are up like 7.5% for the quarter. It's the only sector that's magically creating all this pricing against the consumer. How much of this is the corporate side? taking responsibility in what they're charging. Yeah, well, drug, drug pricing is it's a real issue. You know, the health care, generally speaking, is coming under control. It's coming down to single digits. The, the cost per person is actually beginning to decline. But the cost of drugs is running at, at double-digit rates. How do you bring that I? in? Well, step number one is really easy, or it should be easy, and that is to allow Medicare to negotiate the price of drugs. Ah. That this was put into the legislation in 2003 that Medicare, which then was maybe 25% of the action, now 65% of the action. We should point out this is what Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders have proposed, by the way. It's not what the Republican candidates have proposed. Yeah, well, it's, the, I mean, one way is to regulate the pricing. Another way they is to regulate the pricing. Yeah, they want to yeah, regulate the pricing. This is, this is this just is Medicare negotiating. The they, they, this is they want to regulate no, the prices. This is one of their, big, one of their mm. big democratic ideas is to let the government negotiate on. On Medicare drug prices under under an overall regulating of drug prices in general. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I call that, that's, that's very a, different than just yeah, negotiating. It's prices. very different as opposed and, to know. letting price just ride. I mean, come on. Yeah, can, it, can I ask you for, for a verdict on Obamacare? The, the Obama administration says it's expanding the number of Americans who have who have coverage and bringing down costs. Uh, critics of their plan say it's doing just the opposite. What, what, I mean, and it's very hard to sort through who's right in this debate. What do you see? Is it working or not? Well, the, uh, Obamacare has 10 parts to it. We don't hear much about most of them. We hear a lot about the insurance, who's in, who's out, deductibles, premiums, rising costs, and so on.